Hi, and welcome to Apps How to Academy. In this video, we are going to learn Android app modification. I will uh, show you the process of decompiling an Android app and uh, making it debuggable by uh, changing the debuggable values to throw in the main list file. Then rebuild the app and uh, sign it. First thing, we need APK tool. So uh, if it is not installed, then you have to follow the following steps to install it in Windows. And uh, if you are in Linux, check the video description below for another video to install it in Linux. Now, I will show you how to install it in Windows. Let's uh, get started. Search for IPK tool. Click install. Right click on the wrapper script link and uh, select save link as save after that download the zar file select the latest version when the download is complete rename the zar file to apk tool And uh, move the two files to C Windows directory. Now, APK tool is ready. So, let's do compile the app using the command APK tool. D and uh, pass the apk file. And uh, decompile the app folder. Open Android Manifest. And uh, set the debuggable value to throw. Save the file. Once we have made our changes, let's uh, rebuild the app using the comment apk tool. And uh, pass the app folder. The new ABK file will be in this folder. So rename it to app debug. And uh, move it here. Now, uh, before we proceed to install it, it needs to be signed. So, create a certificate using the dirty tool with the following parameters. A new file will be generated, as you see. With the certificate ready, we can sign the app using APK signer. You can locate APK signer in uh, users, your user folder, app data, local, Android, SDK, build tools, and in the version folder, you can find it. For Linux users, you can uh, locate it in the home user Android SDK build tools. So let's uh, sign it using this command apk signer, pass the apk file, the certificate file, and uh, the password that you defined in the previous command. 
that our the new modified version of the APK is ready. So install it using ADB. ADB install app debug. Now uh, when we run it. You can see the app displayed in the debuggable processes, and uh, we can see the app looks great work. We have uh, successfully decompiled an Android app, made it debuggable, rebuilt, signed, and installed it. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe for more exciting Android hacking. And uh, see you in next tutorials.